I am here with Patrick Braswell. That is correct. And Patrick, what is your title and what what is the name of your company? I'm the uh, CEO of a company called 108. Wait a second. I've got the big kahuna? <laughs> Ow! Now that's impressive. Impressive. You got the big kahuna. I got the big. I've got number nine of ten eight. <laughs> I got the big. I've got number nine of ten eight. <laughs> now tell me you haven't heard that before. I have not. You're the first one that's actually said that to oh. me before. I love it. I love it. I'll have to use that in my next meeting. We we should now see. That's what you should do. Is if you have videos in the background. Use the Beatles number nine, number nine. It's like, what's missing? Let's talk a little bit, uh, very briefly, about how you came up with the idea of 108 and why. Well, I was a broker for 10 years. Uh, seven of those were with Colliers International, and then for three years, I was owner of a boutique firm in Atlanta. And what I realized is that no matter how hard I tried, I always plateaued at about 30 deals a year. And I was a tenant rep broker. So 30 deals a year is a lot, but I wanted to get to 40 or get to 50. And for me, I was very good at prospecting, very good at getting in front of deals. But what I realized is there was no system in place to help me run those deals more efficiently. There's a ton of things about a deal process that can be automated, and they just weren't. You know, CRMs are great for your prospecting, but they don't do deal management very well. And so that's where I said, you know what? If I can't find it in the market, I'm going to build it myself. And that's what we did. So how did you go about, I mean, how do you, you're a real estate broker. You're not, a, you're not a tech guy. How do you go, there's a need, now let me figure out how to put this together. <laughs> well, you stumble along the way at first, right? Yes. You waste about $30,000 because you don't know any better. And then you actually sit there and go, okay, now let's figure out how we really do this. And fortunately for me, I'm in Atlanta, and Atlanta has an awesome technology school called Georgia Tech. So there's plenty of talent to find that can build things for you. So what we did is we built a prototype for about $30,000, which was okay. If I'm honest, it was probably crap, but at least got the minimal viable product out there. And then from there, um, what we did is we proved the concept. Our clients loved it, we loved it, it made us more efficient, so we were able to go from you know, 30 deals to 45 deals. So then we started sharing it with some of our broker friends in Atlanta, and they liked it, and their clients liked it. So at that point, we had to make a tough decision. Do I continue to run a real estate company, or do I go you know, head first into technology and run a technology company? And so that's what we decided to do. We raised half a million dollars, and then we did the smart thing of what we should have done in the beginning, and that's hire a CTO, a full stack developer that knows people within the Georgia Tech community as well. And that's when the product really took off and became very, very efficient, very good looking, very elegant, and very simple to use. So now you were the rambling wreck first, and then you were. <laughs> then we were the streamline. We've got a roadmap. We know how to track the roadmap. I have time frames that people are actually meeting. It, it was a beautiful thing for us to go from the rambling wreck to the Tesla. There you go. Hey, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> that was that was great. That was a good interview. Nice Thank job, you, Howard. Appreciate it. See, it's very important that we have fun. You were laughing, <laughs> you were having fun, and I forgot to turn on the lights, but we're probably okay anyway. It'll be a little yellow, and I'll have to do some post-production.